Hello, what is up guys? I hope you're all doing fine with all that's happening in the world. I know we all have so much more time and toilet paper. That's why I'm bringing you this new video about adding a crosswalk in SketchUp. Yeah, the toilet paper part is irrelevant, but I had to say it. For the memes, guys. For the memes. Just do it! First of all, let's assume you already made your road material and the only thing that's still missing is that shitty crosswalk you want. Let's start by going to this material and adding a diffuse map on top of the V-Ray BRDF. Now click next to diffuse, choose bitmap and then search for your uh, zebra crosswalk material. It must be a PNG with no background. If you don't have one, it's so easy to do it. Just search on Google for a zebra crosswalk and edit it on Photoshop. Now after you import the bitmap, go to placement and uh, turn off the tile. Later on we will see why. Now leave the other settings and go to uh, interactive rendering so we see uh, what we're doing. The problem with this technique as you see above, uh, we can't uh, really see what's happening unless we render. So we'll be working uh, while rendering at the same time. I guess that's a SketchUp problem because it never happened in 3D Max before. Now the material completely disappeared. To fix that, go to transparency, add a bitmap and add the same PNG we added before. But, uh, but in, this, uh, in this transparency, we will need to change the color from black to white. Now you see that the crosswalk is appearing, but it's in the wrong direction. So we go to UVW and change the rotation to 90. Remember to change it in both of, uh, of the bitmaps. There's still one problem. The crosswalk is too huge, so to fix that, you will need to change the UV. Uh, change it to 5, maybe. Don't forget, each time you change, you have to change in the other bitmap. Now, uh, the other problem we encountered is that we have the repetition of the, uh, of the crosswalk. That's why I turned off the first tile map. Now the crosswalk completely disappeared. Well, to fix that, uh, I suggest you zoom out to see uh, the whole road in interactive mode. Uh, and then uh, you will be changing the offset until the, uh, the crosswalk appears. I guess maybe at one it will appear. Yes, okay. Uh, so we see now the crosswalk. All we have to do is change the offset until we see it in our screen. You will need to experiment in the offset, uh, change the values until you, uh, you have the, the exact numbers where the, the crosswalk will appear in your screen. Don't forget to change the UVW uh, values in the other bitmap. And now all we have to do is render and get our uh, road with the, with the crosswalk. Now this is one of the techniques you can use to add a zebra crosswalk to a road. If you have any other technique, uh, comment uh, down below and tell me how you do it. And that's it for today guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, this will help a lot, thank you.